Are you fed up of fighting with bad habits and you're wondering what should you do? What is that which you need to do by which you can control your bad habits? You are doing spiritual practices. You are doing daily journaling, weekly, monthly. You're going to the gym. You're working hard in your profession. You're having a good married life or a decent one. Or at least you have good friends and family members, connections. You have money, but still somehow... The bad habits are lurking and they are not going away from your life. So if this is your situation, then you need to watch this video because today we will exactly discuss what is one thing which maybe you are not doing or maybe something you are doing which you should not do because of which everything else that you are doing is actually collapsing. All right. So if you are new, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you like this video, then don't forget to hit the thumbs up at the end for consultations please go to my website down below in the description section god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him so suppose you have started becoming a vegetarian you have started your spiritual life or you have started to give up things like alcohol for example and you are chanting some mantras you know and you are going to some spiritual community in the weekends you know, and you are doing all these things, right? <laughs> and then you are trying to monitor yourself. You are trying to see, okay, it's three months, you know, still somehow I'm not able to give up some habits, you know, six months, one year, two years. Now, why that is happening? The, the root cause of that problem is, of course, there would be various reasons, but the most important reason is not because you are not doing your spiritual practices properly or you are not having a good vision about yourself. No, these are not the reasons. The most important reason is because you are still in bad association. This is, this is the most important reason because if you are in bad association, then what happens is, see what is bad association? Bad association means company of people or rather close company of people who are still addicted to those bad habits which you want to give up okay so if you have a group of you know friends brother sister cousins colleagues or even your spouse sometimes who are addicted to bad habits from which you want to come out then what happens is knowingly or unknowingly willingly or unwillingly your willpower will go down see why because you have to understand willpower is like a currency now, what, what, what is currency? Currency is limited, all right? It is not unlimited, which means if, if you go to some spiritual community in the weekend, you know, you are charged, you are chanting the holy name of God, you are reading the Bhagavad Gita, Srimad Bhagavatam or the Vedas, Puranas, and you have taken nice prasad, you have uh, had nice kirtan there, you danced also in the kirtan, and you had good association of your Shiksha Guru. But then what happens is, so you gain some currency, you gain some willpower. So from zero, imagine Friday, Saturday, you are at zero, then you go to plus 100. But then what happens on Monday, when you go to your office, suppose your friends, you know, your colleagues, you know, they, they are talking of, you know, drinking, you know, this Friday night, uh, Friday evening again, or Saturday, you know, so, so they are talking of uh, something which they've been doing always with you. So now what is happening is, you are not um, you are not paying heed to those things because you are trying to get out but but still what is happening these these things are falling into your ears and because of that somehow your willpower is going down why 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 is your willpower going down even if you don't want to drink your your willpower is still going down because see willpower is not required to uh, is not required when you do things which you like naturally willpower is most required or it is essential it's fundamental for doing things that you don't like but what happens is in your mind in your manas in your you know, memory when there is an uh, there is an impression of pleasure from the past you know? so basically when you have habits now what is habit basically habit is an experience of pleasure in the past so when you have experienced some superficial pleasure from a particular activity in your previous uh, lifetimes and also in this lifetime you know in your last week two weeks 10 days six months then you 
your it become because because the the soul the, the living entity the jivatma is anandamaya bhyasat which means the living entity always wants happiness but the problem is in the material realm it can confuse happiness with pleasure okay <laughs> so uh, then what happens is you become very much pleasure pleasure seeking rather than happiness seeking and then what happens is you start to think that oh pleasure is all that is important okay now pleasure is important but happiness is more important happiness uh, is pleasure and much more it's like uh, fulfilling at the soul level okay but because you now identify this pleasure of you know taking alcohol as happy happiness so your mind has this definition of happiness what is happiness okay taking alcohol is happiness now saying no to alcohol is very difficult because that is like saying no to your own nature which is the nature of the soul to be happy now this, that's the illusion but but that's not happiness but the problem is your mind is trying to convince you or the mind is completely convinced that that is happiness so for so for a person who is addicted to alcohol saying no is almost like telling that person you know, don't be yourself all right so which is very difficult it does not work in the long run so now what happens is when you have this impression of so-called happiness or pleasure then now you are getting a new stimuli okay so your friends are again discussing this week we will go somewhere or do something then you, what happens is your brain your memory starts to reinstantiate this belief of you know that alcohol is a source of pleasure or happiness which is very important for you so then now your brain has to fight you know your intelligence which is your buddhi has to fight you know oh no no yesterday only you know in the satsang i heard you know it is not good you know uh, you should avoid you no know? and then you are trying to fight you know it's like you are uh, fighting right left but what is happening in this fight is your willpower is going down now you may say oh yeah finally i defeated the, this allurement and i did not go and um take part in this uh, drug uh, in in this you know uh, wine party which happens you know every friday thursday saturday or maybe sunday so i defeated that but even if you did not go what happened is your willpower went considerably low okay now suppose for some reason you did not go to a spiritual the community program in the next sunday then what happens if you don't go two three weeks your willpower will go down, 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 down and it will go to zero again so the moment it is zero you'll again feel ah maybe i need some happiness you know so where do i get happiness yes it's friday evening that's the time where i'm happy which is again illusion because that's pleasure not happiness <clears throat> so then what happens is every sunday you have to keep going to spiritual community every every time you have to keep fighting you know so 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 better than that is you go to the community every sunday nothing wrong with it in fact you should actually but more important than that is within your company you try to uh, in, in your workplace uh, you try to find somebody who is not addicted to all this you know there are many people luckily especially in india even now even if uh, there are a group of 100 people you know 100 colleagues you have uh, then you will at least find one at the least okay i mean it's getting worse day by day but you will find at least one or two or three you know at least two three you will find two three percent of the total who you know either they are not addicted or they don't drink you know or even if they drink it's like you know once in a blue moon they drink sometimes or they don't drink completely okay so they are completely non-drinkers, you know, non-smokers. So try to take their association, be more with them. Okay. Of course, if you uh, need some technical help, you can also contact people who are you know, having bad habits, nothing wrong with it. But you have to make sure that you do not give your heart to them. So don't share your uh, internal, you know, your uh, everything about yourself, you know, because the more you share with someone, the more you get, uh, used to their association okay so don't give them your heart and don't uh, give them your ear basically why because the more you keep hearing from them the more you know they will try to sneak in <clears throat> and what happens is whenever a person is doing some wrong activity the person is very well knowledgeable about it internally 
but because he feels so ashamed so what he does is he will try to seek company which means if a person is drinking sometimes the person knows it is mad i should not do it but the person can't stop doing it so what he does is he will try to influence you again so that he feels less bad about himself okay so that's a trap so whenever somebody is trying to pull you down or trying to pull you down into their own uh, negative energy so you need to understand what the person is doing is he or she is trying to feel less bad about themselves because then the guilt kind of reduces superficially oh yeah you know yeah, he's also doing it fine in, in fact it's so subtle that they themselves don't know but that is why they always seek company you will you will very rarely will find a person is drinking alone they'll always drink with you know some other friend or you know somebody you know some other second third person will always be there 90 percent of the times okay if there's nobody else and the person is heavily addicted then the person may go ahead and drink himself but in general they will not do it okay so rather than you know putting too much focus on your spiritual practices alone which you should do but along with that you have to change your association the more you do this the more you will advance in your spiritual life because then your willpower will gradually keep increasing okay and then you will be able to control your bad habits very easily and you will be able to be victorious in the fight against material energy against maya all right Thank you so much for your patience. If you like this video and don't forget to hit the thumbs up. And of course, if you're new, you have not yet subscribed, then please don't forget to subscribe. And for personalized horoscope consultations, you can go to my website down in the description section. God is there with you all the time. He will help you for sure. <laughs> all right. Take care. Jai Siyaram.